Prosecutors will continue their case against a Limestone County team next week. Mason Sisk is being retried for the shooting deaths of his entire family. WFF 48's Matthew King was in the courtroom today. Matthew, what have jurors learned one week into this trial? Well, the prosecution not done laying out their case yet, but so far 26 witnesses have connected the murder weapon to Mason Sisk, as well as provided a series of events that happened before and after the night Sisk was arrested. Now, Mason Sisk was arrested on Labor Day in 2019 after he called 911. Investigators say he confessed to killing five members of his family while he was in the sheriff's department that night, but later walked that confession back. At this point in the trial, prosecutors have not shown video of that confession. Prosecutors called in witnesses who know Sisk and texts between them show another apparent confession. Jurors also saw graphic body cam video from deputies who responded to the shooting that night in Elkmont, as well as investigators who searched the Sisk home for evidence later that next day. Today, we heard from a friend of Sisk's father who said there was tension in the home brewing the months before leading up to that murder. Now, of course, the prosecution will begin that case on Monday. We'll hear from a deputy who was with Sisk on the scene that night questioning him, as well as an investigator who was in the room with former Sheriff Mike Blakely when Sisk made that alleged confession. We'll be in the courtroom to let you know what they have to say. In Limestone County, Matthew King, 48, on your side.